Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Blast off in your Weekday yeah. morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, Mr. Snooty Wow. Yeah. Hey, what it do, New York? What's up, son? What it do, world? Man, what it do, man? What you do, a morning family? person, man. You high, you high, energetic. Hey, you was here you early. What kind of rapper are you to get here early, man? man look, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they said, man, when the trap, man, the early bird catch the worm. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> so we trap. trapping it out right now. So we, I thought you was from Atlanta. You from Memphis? He's, yeah, North, North Memphis. North, North, North. Okay. Nobody ever thought he was from Atlanta? I thought he was from Atlanta. <laughs> no. Sorry. Like, so you couldn't figure out the Yo Gotti connection, Memphis? I ain't thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> so how would it be to your voice for you this year? Oh, uh, man, first of all, you know, it's my first time right mm-hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta anyway, so that was a blessing. You know what I'm saying? That was your first look. time in Atlanta? Uh, it was. Oh, okay. Was Atlanta, Atlanta. Yeah, right. So, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, just a blessing to be there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Around that time, two years ago, I was in prison watching it, so... Right. So yeah. you were in jail for four years. Yeah. Then you came out, you put out the single, Yeah, Yo. Right. And... I, I read that you got your GED while you were in jail, and that's how you sharpened up, like, on getting all your Most definitely. rhymes together. Most definitely. What you was in jail for, Yale? Ah. <laughs> 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 nah, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was an angry person back then. I was young, you know what I'm saying? I, all my childhood was, like, aggravated, you know what I'm saying? So, I, had to, I, had to, I had a salt and battery with intent to kill. That was my first charge. Yeah, it was aggravated robbery, attempt to murder. Okay. Yeah, they dropped Goodness gracious, did we pat though. these guys Listen, down when they came bonding in Listen, we're bonding <laughs> on <laughs> criminal <laughs> charges here, okay? <laughs> Goodness gracious. This, this is a convict conversation. I see. Convict, convict conversation. conversation. Exactly. <laughs> how, did you meet, how did you meet Yo Gotti? Oh, man, just really grinding, man. You know what I'm saying? He had came back home. And, uh, you know, we got a couple of clubs around there in the area, right? So... Mm-hmm. He always touched down. This, I didn't know that. I just found it out. That's how he heard me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So y'all, he'll, he'll touch down and just check out some of the clubs when he come back home. Mm-hmm. They playing me. You know what I'm saying? The, the crowd going crazy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the DJ, I think one of the DJ told him, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, this kid stay right up the street from me, from North Memphis. So he ain't off from Memphis, period. Mm-hmm. So for me, just moving the crowd and coming from the city, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get your own city. Mm-hmm. He was like, damn, I got to meet this kid. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, Lil Larry hit me up, you know, the DJ that's kind of like, mm-hmm. you know, what's in Memphis, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it started from there. He linked it up. We met up. You know what I'm saying? We had the same conversation, the same kind of like game plan Driving. of what I'm mm-hmm. trying to do right, you know what I'm saying? So it was like self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying? We on the money train now. We're trying to get it. Right. So you were named after your father, and your father was well-known in Memphis. Most definitely, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Snooty, rest in peace to him, North Memphis. Uh, <laughs> your, government, your government name Snooty Wild? Nah, nah, nah. Oh. I had that name. I was born, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a real street now. It's a real legend now. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I had to, man, fill some big shoes. That's how I ended up in prison. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to keep up with the hype of that name, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, was that your first crime or that was the first time you got caught? Yeah, it my first time I getting caught. Okay. Yeah, he ain't gonna tell you anyway. It's my first time. No, I've committed a lot of crimes that I haven't gotten caught for. There's a lot of open cases out there. So you got so you got out after four years, but then you ended up going back to jail after Yeah, that? yeah. Uh it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like out for two years almost and uh got accused for another child for the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like in Damn. Memphis. Yeah, it's like in Memphis, it's so small, right? So it's like if you if they got an open case, they usually just uh, try to fit the criteria about the person, okay, it's an aggravated charge, we're gonna go to all the cases that got the people that got aggravated charges, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And try to link it up like that and try to compare like this, especially if it's an open case. And, and push witnesses witness. to say stuff. Yeah. Is he, he was tall, wasn't he? Right. Beige. Yeah. <laughs> it was just that it was just, it was just that look. It was in the same area. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. The, the the incident happened in the area I stayed in. So when they started looking and pulling people over and all that, you know what I'm saying? They said I fit the description. You know what I'm saying? It might almost offer me 14.3 if it wasn't for the victims coming in. Letting me go and saying it wasn't him. Damn. Yeah, I would have been wow. gone. So it was like a wake up call for me. That really just made me just go on and push forward and, you know what I'm saying, just invest everything into this music. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have much, but I invested everything my whole life into it because, mm-hmm. like, right then and there, I could have been gone. You know what I'm saying? So you think jail, this may sound crazy, but you think jail benefited you? Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? The four years changed me as a person. You know what I'm saying? Built me as a man because I went in at 21. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wasn't outspoken. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people I, I thank God for because it's people I heard right today that, express their feelings on text messages. You know what I'm saying? They can't stand in my face like a man or a woman mm-hmm. and express themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because they addicted to the, what the free word offer. You know what I'm saying? And that's not me. I'd rather come like, y'all want to meet me or link up with me. Y'all will be on that app. I'm going to be in your face, knocking on your door. What's up? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's bigger than the media. You know what I'm saying? The media, that's cool, but it took it took, it took took away the personality of a person. You know what I'm saying? The, 
they 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 they're fruitful. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, know yeah, me yeah. as who I am. People don't know how to look you in the eye and talk right, to you no more. You right. know how to communicate. Yeah, about the robots. Mm -hmm. Even at you, dinner, you texting everybody texting. But how do you deal with that? Because like you said, I mean, it's you know, in, you, you got Instagram, you got Twitter, and people can say whatever they want to say because, like you said, they ain't got to see you. And you know what I'm saying? What I did was just, you know what I'm saying, join it. You know what I'm saying? You can't be the join it, but I got best of both worlds on me. They don't. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I can actually come in your face and speak. You know what I'm saying? And present myself how I need to be presented. Have you and ever then, had to speak to somebody on Twitter, Instagram, you seen in person? Yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, but you want to know the crazy part about mm -hmm. it? Like, you know what I'm saying? I got people working my media, right? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, like, I'll be, <laughs> <laughs> you already know what I'm finna say. I'll be at events and I had, oh, what's up, man? You don't know, man? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, we were talking on Twitter. Like, Man, look, I don't do that Twitter. I ain't gonna <laughs> Cause you gonna start asking me something that we talked about and I ain't gonna remember. So no. I'm like, look, nah, that wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's the only like big problem I got, you know what I'm saying? Trying not to fly to people like right. that. You know what I'm saying? They know me because they probably hitting on Twitter. Like I said, I'm not a big media fan mm -hmm. when it comes out of this. So mm -hmm. Is it true that uh, you used to wanna play basketball but you got stabbed in your leg? Uh, most definitely. What you wanna see tomorrow? Nah, I don't want to see this. <laughs> yeah, you wanna see this? <laughs> I mean, yeah, show the scar. It's a bad scar like that. Cause they say you almost lost your leg, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I he about six for five, six for six. Yeah, damn, what you got stabbed? What kind of knife? Like I said, I'm gonna lie my leg. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Uh, so you was only 17 though, so what happened? Like, man, the streets, homie. You know, you know what I'm saying? My life ain't full guys. It is what it is. That's yeah. why it's probably so hard for the, you know what I'm saying, like the label. They trying to get me, they always say, I'm trying to get you out of the streets into the industry world. I said, what do that mean? Like, what do, it sounds like you trying to say, I want to take you. From the house and take you to Disneyland, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like that's exactly what they're trying to do. Yeah, like, well, I, they can't make. I can't get these like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like my life is real. You know what I'm saying? And the memories that I got and, and the scars that's on me is real. So it's like you can't you can't dress me up and and take that away from me and my and, and have me pretend that I'm this person because it can't happen that way. So Every somebody, time I close, like once you get through putting me in the TV world or in, in Disneyland, wherever you're trying to get me at, once I close my eyes, bro, they still there. Did they um? Did they do it out of jealousy? Cause you was good in basketball, or man, look, you know, uh, I was seventeen, homie. So like, at that time, I probably wouldn't even understand what would happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was just getting caught up in the streets and, and, and being a product of your environment. You know what I'm saying? And once that happens, you don't look at nothing like nothing. You just look at like for what it is. You know what I'm saying? You you battling it out, end up in the hospital. Right. Now, before Yo Gotti signed you, did he have to sit you down and give you some advice and things and expectations that he had for you making most, that transition from the street into the music business? Most definitely, he 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 down there probably like did that the same the same day we met because he already seen what he was dealing with. So you know what I'm saying? He was asking me a couple of questions, just trying to see where my head was at. And you know, you know, you know, saying you know, you know, he know a street nigga when he see one. So he like instantly kind of right there and there broke it down to me far as preparing me it was for the happen, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Cause I guess he already believed in me mm -hmm. and I already knew what was for the happen for me. So I don't understand why the industry expects street dudes to make that transition so easily. Like you've been in the street all your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't right. help me to can't expect me to change in three months. Nah, they they, they try though, you know what I'm saying? I, I see that most definitely, you know what I'm saying? This game is most definitely uh uh, if you ain't if you ain't got no intelligence, man, they're gonna pimp you, put it like that. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna use you for what you gonna what you for, you know what I'm saying, until you wear out. Like so what, a pair of shoes. What gave you inspiration when you when you were rapping and writing? Man, my children, man. I got four of them. I got two little girls. I don't even know where they at right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, what mother, you mean? Baby uh, mama? Yeah, she ran off, man. She panicked. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they, she be back. Keep making these yeah, records. Things start. Things start. <laughs> nah, that's when that's when she disappeared. Things start like going up for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And put me in a position where I'm like, okay, I can change my kids' right. life. I can change people's lives now. So. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get them in their position. She panicked, think I'm trying to take them from her mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. disappeared on me. Damn. Yeah. When was the last time you seen your baby girls? Man, six months ago. Yeah. You want to put the people on her? Hey, what? hey, hey. I'm looking for her now, you know? Yeah. I will be speaking about it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so how old are your kids, all four of them? Uh, my little boy just turned 12. Jeez. Yeah, he just had a birthday. How old were you when you had him? I was 17. Okay. Yeah. 12 years old, that's... You gonna be in a club with you soon? <laughs> hey, that's cool. You <laughs> can be making that money with me. There you go. Yeah, hey, my little you girls, see. dog. You know what I'm saying? They, I got one that's ten, mm -hmm. one that's nine, and one that's just turned seven. Okay. Yeah. That's good to hear a man speak like that, though, because a lot of times he, the dudes ain't taking care of their kids. Wouldn't right. care if the girl run off with them. Hey, right, it's plenty of them like that. That's why. That's why it tripped me out. But you know, women try to do the opposite. You know what I'm saying? To hurt the man. You know what I'm saying? If you Want your children, they'll keep them away from. If you ain't trying to take care of the kid, they're going to push push the kid on you. You know what I'm saying? You know how it go. I wonder why your success scared her like that, though. 
She, nigga... she was scared that he was going to try to take the kids. Right. Oh, get custody. Okay. Right, okay. Right, okay. Right, most definitely. Was she an unfit mother or something? Nah, it wasn't nothing like that. It just, you know, when a person, they feel it and, and, and dealing with emotions, they they looking at things the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at it as a business, you know what I'm saying, perspective on trying to change their life, get them on Disney Channel or, or Nickelodeon or some whatever they can get blessed with, not take them from you, you know what I'm gotcha. saying, but just help you. You know what I'm saying? Like a father opposed to. Mm-hmm. She looked at it the wrong way because, you know what I'm saying, our our relationship wasn't, wasn't tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, we should have been more on a friendship level, you know what I'm saying, instead of enemy level. You know what I'm saying? And she probably wouldn't even panic that way and looked at it that way. But, you know, that's life. You got to be friends with your baby mama, man. Right, got to I be out there, man. Make sure, <laughs> man, look, you cannot win that battle, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to be in your kid's life, man, you know, make sure you be a friend to the mother, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Drop the my look, throw up the white flag, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, <laughs> so who was the song she's a keeper about? Oh man, it's just <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know I'm what sure you had somebody in mind. Yeah, no, I know. It's just past relationships, period. You know what I'm saying? Just bunched into one. You know what I'm saying? Like every woman I done dated, you know what I'm saying from my baby mama to a, you know what I'm saying, just a open relationship. I found something special about that person. Hopefully, if you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most definitely I did, or I wouldn't been with him. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I just took a piece of that and made she's a keeper. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I remember from my ba- my child's mother, what I remember from, you know what I'm saying, the female I dated 10 months ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me to be with that person for that long, I found something in her. You know what I'm saying? I just put it into the music. And she's a keeper. They had to combine all those qualities from all the different women right. and say, this is what a keeper would be. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> because you got women out there that... You know what I'm saying? White collar, you know what I'm saying? Got their own business or, or work for a business. You got the ones out there that's dancing and trying to go to college. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got no I ain't got no preference. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to me, she's a keeper. as a woman that don't get discouraged. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up. Keep going. Don't matter if it's good or bad. And you get out of it and you be successful. You know what I'm saying? Salute to all the bartenders out there. Let's yeah. Stop. Now, I spoke to you a while ago, and, and you said you haven't met L.A. Reid. That was a long time ago. Have you, have you met L.A. Reid now? Nah. I st- he, still I, haven't I, met L.A. Reid yet? Hey, look, it's, it's coming real soon, man. Yeah. Shout out to Big Brother, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing, man, first of all, for a brother like that to even just invest into somebody they ain't even seen or even met. You know what I'm saying? So they just let me know how powerful my music is. Mm-hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? And and they understand where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? It's not food gazing and they're not looking at it like, let me meet this cat first. Nah, they hear it. They hear mm-hmm. the pain. They hear it, the energy into my music. So it just let me know that I'm doing something right, man, and then my, my it's going in the right direction. So Did you, you ever want to stay indie? Did you ever want to stay indie? What you mean? Independent. It didn't it didn't matter to me, especially where I was at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I ain't even know what what, what the independent was. I just was working, you know what I'm saying? I was out there grinding, you know what I'm saying, and got up out the streets. Or so you have three pretty solid songs out right now, and the EP is out. EP tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, today. No, today. No, today. No, okay. today. You know what I'm saying? The EP, y'all go cop that. Y'all got yeah, that. Yeah, let's not forget that. Yeah, hey, look, the EP today. is out today. Go <laughs> mode. Make sure y'all go cop that. We got August on one of the singles that's coming out real soon. So y'all just look forward to it, man. It's crazy. Big bro got his album coming out, All the Hustle. Mm-hmm. Make sure y'all cop that. It's coming out real soon. Everybody, we talking about everybody. <laughs> yeah, just a CMG takeover, man. You never even put out a mixtape or anything, huh? Nah, he, uh, he don't need it. They all happen right pretty, right pretty, right pretty quickly. Right he don't fire, he don't need it. You feel like it happened quickly? Like, hold on, what's wrong? You feel like everything happened for you pretty quickly? Yeah, I, I, I think it was just a drive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just a drive, like me anxiously trying to get out the situation I was in. You know what I'm saying? I, I practically went up in a situation blinding, you know what I'm saying? Just like you said, with flames on me, you know what I'm saying? Did you ever did you ever feel like Yayo was getting bigger than you? Most definitely. Like people knew the record but didn't know what you looked like? Most definitely. Yeah, yeah most definitely did that first, you know what I'm saying? That's what made me uh, get up out get up out my ass and just <laughs> get on footwork, you know what I'm saying? That's why I tell everybody footwork is better than media to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause your son can't get bigger than you by working on that media. They don't see your face. You know what I'm saying? You think they looking at your face. Everybody don't look at stereo pictures, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially grown ass men. You know what I'm saying? So you trying to get in, you trying to get what you trying to get to, and these folks in office or these folks in behind the desk right here on the radio, man, we ain't trying to stare at your picture. Come in there, man. You you're a man, come over here and speak up. What's up? What it is? Who are you? You know what I'm saying? If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. You know what I'm saying? That's how life is. You keep on pushing. Yeah, I remember I heard the song made me. I was like, who is this? I like this song. And I went to go look it up and everything. Look, shout out That's to K Count. Helping with helping me with that song, you know what I'm saying? Uh, made me. That is a big song, self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? Just explaining me about my life. You know what I'm saying? What I went through. You know what I'm saying? That's what made me. 
And it's really a motivational song as well, you know what I'm saying? For people that's in a situation like me or worse, you know what I'm saying? You keep on going because that's what's building you up. That's what's going to make you at the end of your struggle. Okay. Well, I like your story, man. Yeah. Your story going to make me check out the EP. Mm-hmm. I like Respect. the record, oh, yeah, yo, but you know, sometimes people just have a record and that's it. Right, right. I like your story. Respect, bro. Word. Respect. Well, oh, another thing I got going on for y'all indies, man. I need some help. <laughs> World, I'm trying to do a project for St. Jude's Hospital. First of all, that's the biggest children's hospital in the nation. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's smacked there a few times. Yeah, and it's smacked down in Michigan, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, ain't nobody done a fundraiser for them. And I think it's time for that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, uh, probably like in April. I be trying to make that move, that little power move, and do a little fundraiser and a little project for uh, St. Jude's Hospital, Church Hospital. See, that's yeah, how you pay it for forward. It. Come on, got to give back. Got to. Got to give you back. You didn't rob so many people. If you just, hey. Just <laughs> it's time, it, it, I'm paying my dues. I got to give Absolutely. back. Absolutely. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. It's Snooty Wild. Yeah.